bright duty every student matters harvesting right so what is harvesting harvesting is basically the cutting of crop after the maturation right this is known as harvesting and you can basically look uh, watch the lecture as well for this this is the one mark question very simple it can come for definition it can come as a definition this question can come for the definition of harvesting it is a simple one mark question if the question is more detailed that what is harvesting why is it done what are the methods of harvesting then it becomes a three mark question then you explain everything in detail right now list the different methods of harvesting the first one simply manual in which a sickle is used right as i showed you a sickle is used it is performed manually the person holds the plant and cuts it with the help of a sickle second is with the help of a harvester right it is a machine as i have already explained in the lecture it is a machine so there are only two methods first one is manual second is harvester next how, what is threshing how is it done it is basically the separation of crop of seeds from the crop basically the crop includes the plant right there is a plant whole plant and after uh, when harvesting is done the plant is cut from the bottom right it is it is cut off from the surface so the seeds are present on the branches right the seeds are not present on the whole plant you do not require the whole plant you only need the seeds so the separation of these seeds from this plant is known as threshing now this how is it done now again for threshing there are two methods first one is manual in which beating of the crop is done so that due to beating the grains fall out of the plant and hence the grains are obtained separately secondly it is done with the help of a thresher right and also there is a third machine known as combine which is a combination of harvester and a thresher which can be utilized to perform both the activities simultaneously now what do you understand by the term winnowing what is its use winnowing is used to separate the grain from the chaff now what is its use i just just told you this is its use and how is it done it is done manually with the help of air the air flows you simply drop the uh, mixture of grain and chaff and when the uh, fan hits the mixture because the chaff is lighter it flows with the air while because the grain is uh, heavier it falls down and it collects on the bottom at the bottom so this is the manual method of winnowing second method is with the help of winnowing machine right so this is winnowing what are the important points to be considered while the storage while the storage of harvested crops basically the first point is that they must be dried there must be no moisture because moisture promotes the microbial growth right secondly it must be treated uh, basically there must be no open windows of the storage area so that no birds should come inside right no birds can come in and out and let us look at some other points as well if we are discussing the complete topic the storage area for, should be free from rodents and insects as well these are the three factors to be kept in mind right now what are the important treatments required before the storage of crops the first thing is drying they must be sun dried before the before storage so that there is no moisture left right secondly neem leaves or garlic or turmeric must be kept in the gunny bags must be kept with the grains 
so that the microbes are killed if any microbes are uh, are basically flourishing such as bacteria or fungi then these neem leaves garlic and turmeric act as a disinfectant and they kill the microbes microorganisms right thirdly they can be treated with the help of chemicals as well if you want to treat them with chemicals to kill the microbes or to remove the moisture then chemical treatment can also be done third question explain the different methods used for storage of crops the first one is silos as we have discussed there are long cylindrical structures with openings they can easily uh, they are present in the sunlight so there is no moisture they can be used for different grains and they can uh, easily the grains can easily be taken out right from the openings the openings are used for taking out the grains if you require second are granaries in which the grains are stored in gunny bags and these gunny bags are then kept in godowns or uh, wooden raved platforms away from water and alleys for fumigation right so these are the two methods for storage of crops you have to explain them in detail it is a 3 mark question 1.5 mark for each right watch the lecture for more detail next question what happens if the freshly harvested crop are stored without drying if they are stored without drying then due to moisture microbes are produced microorganisms are produced which decompose or spoil the yield so it is very important to dry the freshly harvested crop next what are the advantages of using manure over fertilizers firstly it increases the water retaining capacity of soil right secondly it makes the soil porous for the better growth of microbes thirdly uh, uh, it makes the soil rich in humus and increases the number of friendly microbes which is uh, important for turning and loosening of soil and decomposition of dead plants and animals to obtain the nutrients back then also manure improve, improves the soil texture as well as the water holding capacity these are the advantages of using manures over fertilizers right next important question is this can easily be in your exam and it is a 3 mark question what is the difference between manure and fertilizer let us look at this because you require a good answer firstly it is man made fertilizer is man made while manure is organic and natural substance obtained by decomposition of cattle dung and plant residues fertilizer is prepared in factories while manure is prepared in fields fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil while manure provides humus to the soil right then fertilizer are very rich in particular nutrients plant nutrients such as nitrogen phosphorus and potassium while manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients right these four points have you have to provide in detail with the definitions right when you differentiate you firstly provide the definitions of both the uh, uh, both the terms that you have to differentiate between then you give different points what is crop rotation how is it helpful the process of growth of dissimilar plants or crop on the same field alternately is known as crop rotation as i gave the example of carrots then pea and then broccoli right firstly you grow carrots then pea then broccoli then again the repeating cycle this is known as crop rotation it is helpful because it helps the soil in regaining nutrients because this similar plants use different kinds of nutrients for their growth so it helps the soil to regain the lost nutrients in the time while another crop is grown which is utilizing a different kind of nutrient 
right so this is crop rotation and this is how it is helpful what is animal husbandry students as we talked in the lecture the rearing of animals we basically have two definitions let's write the first one rearing of animals we can also write the practice of breeding and raising livestock is known as animal husbandry the process of breeding and raising livestock is known as animal husbandry they have to be given proper food shelter and care right this is animal husbandry second question is do we obtain food from animals yes we obtain food from animals if yes list down a few products obtained from animals let us list down some uh, products first one is milk that is obtained from cow buffalo and goat second being meat which is obtained from goat hen pig fish third is eggs which are obtained from hen and fourth is honey which is obtained from honey bee right these are the four kinds of products obtained from different animals right so these were the important questions for the last topic of this chapter